this community has long been neglected. However, a female doctor chose to especially pay a visit here. Uh, 31-year-old Dr. Long Jiawen is a family physician. She asked for a two-week leave from work so that she can travel from the UK to Mozambique. She is most concerned about the children. His belly is bloated because he is malnourished. So when we touch his belly, we can actually feel his intestines pushing against his skin. It is because intestines are swollen. That's why we can feel it so easily. It is true. Most of the children here can be seen with bloated bellies. Most of the children are very thin, but they have large bloated bellies. Normally, there are two main reasons that cause a bloated belly. One is having parasites, and the other is malnutrition. When touching four-year-old Devon's belly, the doctor found something unusual. Perhaps it's because there are worms in his belly, making it much more bloated. It's really quite large in size. I can feel that his belly is completely filled with air. This one may be too big for her, but I can have a check on her as well. Okay. The deworming medication brought from Taiwan came in handy. Dr. Long reminded both the children and their parents to take the medication in order to effectively avoid further transmissions. Furthermore, there are still many children suffering from skin issues. I am pretty sure that he has some type of skin disease. However, such skin diseases are rarely seen in the UK. Dr. Long visited the children's homes not only to understand their living environment, but also to give them a thorough checkup. The 22-year-old mother also endures her own painful medical condition. You see these yellow patches here? These are actually filled with pus on the inside. When you press down on her skin, you feel that it is actually quite a bit stiff. So usually that means there's some type of bacteria that is trapped inside it. Each family here is not only trapped in poverty, but also various types of illnesses. The simple and temporary outdoor clinic here is in strong contrast to the comfortable setting back in the UK. I feel like that I am way too fortunate to be able to be a doctor in the UK, because most of the time, parents will come in with very minor medical concerns, such as a simple scratch on the foot or something. At times, I feel a bit helpless and frustrated in these cases. Then I come here, and I see that many people actually have multiple serious health conditions. However, we are not able to do much for them. Maybe since they all grew up in such conditions their whole lives, so they have already gotten used to it. This young woman, in fact, made a vow in front of Dhamma Master Zheng Yan in November of last year that she wanted to go to Mozambique to volunteer her services. I've always wanted to do the things that Doctors Without Borders do, but at the same time, I feel that I cannot do much just on my own. Therefore, I have joined Siji because I think the power of teamwork is very important. Coming here today, I do not have any regrets whatsoever. I do not regret to have made that vow either. I still want to come here to help them in any way I can. Her compassion shows that love can cross any borders. At this moment, she has also realized her promise in serving the worldwide community.